Hey everyone, I have some exciting news for you this morning if you're a fan of Octopath Traveler. My precious. And that is that a sequel to Octopath Traveler has been confirmed by Square Enix to be in the works for Nintendo Switch. Now they did announce today that the game sold 1.5 million units on Nintendo Switch, which has obviously led to them, well, saying that there's going to be a sequel. In fact, here's what they said on Twitter, and this is important that they said this based on an earlier announcement that we're also going to cover in a second. So first, let's get to the announcement that they are working on a new game for Nintendo Switch. So they put it out on Japanese Twitter, and because I don't read Japanese, we're going to go with Silicon Era here, who translated it. And it says, for those of you waiting for a new console game, we apologize, but we'll need more time for the production. So in the meantime, we hope you enjoy this. Now this is in reference to the fact that they announced earlier today that there is going to be an Octopath Traveler mobile game for iOS and Android and it's going to be a prequel. And uh, they're changing some things up like apparently you'll be able to fight with eight characters at once and there's going to be some new characters in this mobile app game. And now that we know that there's a sequel to this bad boy coming uh, to Switch, I'm actually more inclined to try out the mobile game just so I can get the full story all put together. I also still need to beat Octopath Traveler. Um, that's something that's on the to-do list uh, for this year. Maybe I'll end up doing that this month. I don't know. Um, heck, I even thought about maybe beating this and doing a review on it, even though it's you know a pretty late review. I think Octopath Traveler deserves that kind of attention again. So um, I'm pretty stoked that we're going to get a sequel. There's a lot of things I hope they learn from the original release. I think one big thing that people really want to see advance in the next one is go ahead and have eight, you know, you know, stories again, that's fine, but have there be an overarching story that connects everything together where all, like, these characters have their individual paths, but then when you get done with those paths, there's, like, this overarching, uh, you know, grander evil or, or something going on that you need to deal with uh, that you need all eight characters for. I think that would be really cool. And also, if you're going to have eight characters be able to fight on your, in your mobile devices, are we going to be able to use eight characters instead of just four at a time in the next game? I think that would be really, really cool, especially since you assume it's still going to be called Octopath Traveler and then a subtitle or Octopath Traveler 2. So um, it'd be cool if now the Octopath actually meant that all eight characters could now be used at the same time. I don't know, maybe that's just me and some wishful thinking, but uh, I love Octopath Traveler. The only reason I haven't beat it is because I had to sell it earlier just for some financial reasons, but obviously I have it back again, and uh, thanks to Be Righteous out there, um, I have like the collector's edition stuff here, uh, including the art books and, and the sound, sound selection CD, and I, man, I mean, if there was um, Amiibo for this game, I'd probably own that too, because Octopath Traveler to me is fantastic and one of the very best games, if not the best exclusive game on Switch. Yes, I went there. I realize some of you are going to say Smash, some of you are going to say Odyssey, some might be clinging to Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Heck, maybe someone out there is still clinging to Splatoon 2 or something. I don't know. Your favorite is your favorite, but to me... Octopath Traveler uh, potentially might be it. I just have to beat it first. For now, my favorite is uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. But uh, once I beat Octopath Traveler, maybe this will be my favorite. I got to see how it all ends before I can make that conclusion. But hey, it has the potential for me. So I'm really happy. Octopath Traveler sequel. It's coming. There's a prequel coming to phones. Weird that it's coming to phones and not also coming to Switch. But uh Maybe their idea is to put the prequel out there to get more people interested in the Switch one. I have no idea. I don't know what they're thinking. This is Square Enix. This isn't Nintendo's doing. But uh, I'm happy and stoked that they are working on a sequel. I think we always could reasonably expect it. However, I think some people were maybe wondering if there would be a sequel just because we know that there's apparently a new Bravely Default in the works. And this is the team that, that made Bravely Default at Octopath Traveler. Uh, but maybe now there's like two separate teams doing this kind of thing. So the new Bravely Default and the new Octopath Traveler at the same time can be developed. I think that's cool. Plus, obviously, they have a team that did the mobile game. So I don't know. Um, I can't really complain. We're getting a ton of Octopath Traveler both on our phones and a new one on our Switch probably, you know, maybe as soon as next year even. So, uh, I'm stoked. I can't wait. Uh, you guys let me know what you want to happen in the Octopath Traveler prequel on phones and the Octopath Traveler sequel that is coming out on Switch at some point in the future. Um, I, I'm really, um, looking forward to, uh, talking more and more and more about this excellent, now rapidly growing 
game series. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway through the link in the description. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next video.